Hey, welcome back. My name is Maureen. I'm a homeschool mom to two boys, among other things that I just like to chat about here on my channel. <laughs> Don't mind my faded pink hair. I do have an appointment in two days. Um, it's normally like way brighter, but thankfully pink fades kind of nicely. I don't know. I could almost kind of dig this. I'm thinking about, this is a complete side note and has nothing to do with our video today, <laughs> but I'm thinking about trying gray. What do we think about gray? I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, enough about my hair. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about our vacation budget. I know, really random and super random. <laughs> And I've never done a budget video before, but I was chatting with one of my friends about a trip that we took last year and we took the boys to Universal Studios, which we had never been to before. We love Harry Potter um, movies. My youngest watched all of the, not watched, what am I saying? My youngest watched, oh my God, I said it again. <laughs> my youngest read all of the books and um, we just love the movies. It was a really fast two day trip but had a blast doing it. And uh, so much so that we wanted to go back. We found an amazing deal, actually through a homeschool group online and we're taking them back in November. But anyways, I was talking to a friend of mine about it and our vacation account came up in talk and she was like, I've never heard of doing that. Like, tell me about it. And so we were chatting about it and she was like, that would make a really great video for your YouTube channel. And I was like, I never would have thought of that. It's like one of those things that you just do and you've done for so long that you just forget that it's not something that everyone else does, which is pretty much like our whole routine probably. <laughs> so I'm gonna chat a little bit about what, what we do, how we budget for vacation. I have, I did not come up with this idea. I took it from a YouTube video I found years ago and took like the meat and potatoes from it and adapted it to work best for us and have loved having it. So I'm gonna chat with you a little bit about it now. Okay, I'm gonna kind of back up a little bit and mention that a few years ago, I decided to open several different checking accounts. So I don't keep like a checkbook, like I don't balance my checkbook. Like, is that a thing still? I don't know <laughs> if people actually like write and balance their checkbook. I don't know, maybe you do and it works for you, awesome. I prefer digital, um, like having a digital record of all of my expenses and stuff. But I did want it to be more categorized. Like almost like I wanted my bank account to, to kind of mimic like a filing system, right? So I wanted the money that I spend on groceries to be here, groceries and bills. I wanted the money that we just wanted to splurge here, money on entertainment slash dates, um, and then vacation money. And so what I ended up doing was opening an account for all of those different um, types of spending and one of those happened to be vacation. Traveling is a really big hobby of ours. It's something that we love to do. And so I wanted to make sure that traveling was always budgeted into um, our monthly slash annual budget. And so I opened up a vacation account for that and it has worked really well for us. Every month that we would get a paycheck, it would go straight into our grocery slash um, bills. Like the, the, the account is actually labeled grocery. And then from there, I would transfer an allotted amount to each of those other subcategories, if you will. So specifically for vacation, we had an X amount of money that we would take out of each paycheck and put it towards vacation. Oh, side note, also, when I opened all of this, our bank offered a Christmas um, what is it called? There's like a name for it, but it actually came with, it was like a, it was like a bonus kind of thing that they had going on whenever you would open up a checking account. And for X amount of dollars that you would put into this Christmas savings account, you would build interest on it. Um, and so, but, but the catch is that you could not access funds from that account until I think it's November, October or November. So 
it's kind of like a savings account that you would have year round and put funds into it and then come the season for Christmas shopping, you have access to it to be able to use for Christmas gifts. We have done that and it has been amazing. So um, that one was actually not a category that I thought of on my own. The bank just happened to provide that and I was like, that's brilliant, sign me up. <laughs> okay, so like I mentioned before, vacations and traveling is a really big hobby of ours. So I know that we probably budget more than the average family for it because we just enjoy doing it so much. I'm not gonna share a dollar amount with you, but just know like that's what we love to do as a family. And so we prioritize that in our budget and it reflects that. And on the same note, we are also very aware that some trips are gonna cost a lot more than other trips. Some of our favorite trips to take are camping, so we're not gonna spend quite as much on those trips as we would, for example, going to Universal Studios. We live in Louisiana, so for us to get to Universal, we can drive for sure, but we're gonna fly. <laughs> so, you know, travel expenses and all of that are also gonna be a factor, plus it's Universal. I mean, we've never been to Disney, but Universal was pretty expensive, so I knew that we were probably gonna need to raise our budget in preparation for this trip. So that's something to keep in mind too whenever you are planning to budget for travel, like if it's like an overall travel budget or if it's a specific trip budget, which is what I did for Universal. So here's what I did. I Googled a lot about Universal. Now, I had an up advantage because my sister-in-law was the one that brought us and she is like a Disney slash Universal planner. And um, so she was able to give me, because we had never been to either one of those places before, so she was able to give me tips and a better idea of like the amount of money that we were gonna have to spend for food, hotel, travel, um, tickets, like all that stuff. So that was a plus. Had I not had that, which this coming trip we're pretty much doing on our own, what I do is I go to the website and search for all of the things that we wanna do, and I'm always gonna choose the most expensive option because if I don't, I choose the budget friendly, friendly, the budget friendly option, and we get there, and for whatever reason, depending on what the option was, it's not available, or um, we just don't want to stick with the budget. When we decide when we get there, we want to splurge a little bit and do the fast pass or, or whatever it is, then I have the budget already aligned for that. And then if we decide to stick with the less expensive option, then on the flip side, we have extra funds there. So either way, planning for the most more expensive option is gonna set you up for greater success. So what I did was I created a spreadsheet and itemized every single thing that I could think of ahead of time that we were gonna spend for this trip. So I started with the flights and from there went to food. This was really helpful to have my sister-in-law with because I didn't even know that Universal offered a uh, meal plan and all of this was on their site. I just didn't go to their site because I had her. But um, budgeted for food, snacks, food not just at Universal, but traveling food, additional snacks and meals that we would want outside of that meal plan, hotel, Ubers, um, what else? Even so much as I knew that I wanted to buy the boys a wand at, you know, at uh, Harry Potter World, so I looked up the wands, what the most expensive one would be, and budgeted that in. A big tip I could give you for, for any trip, but specifically for something like Harry Potter World, was I YouTubed and watched a lot of videos about tips like going to that place. And it was from those videos that I learned about like the special candies and things that you want to really plan on buying when you're there. So if you're familiar with Harry Potter, you know about the chocolate frog um, and they are not cheap. <laughs> they are not cheap at Universal. And so I budgeted in the chocolate frog. I budgeted in um, wands, interactive wands for each of us. I budgeted in a shirt to buy when we got there which actually we didn't even get, but I even budgeted clothes and accessories that that I purchased before the trip. So I knew that all of us, we did like, 
we did a test online or a quiz online that told us what house we were we were a part of and so i wanted to buy a shirt for each of us to wear that represented the harry potter house that we were we were in and so i budgeted that into our budget i'm telling you like anything that had to do with the trip i itemized it out and budgeted it in Oh, and another one was the butter beer. So that was a super helpful tip that I got from a YouTube video because we went in November and it was so cold. Like you guys, it was so cold. Everyone there was like, it never gets this cold. And we had, we brought like our coats, like not a jacket, a, like a snow coat. And we were still freezing, but apparently seasonally they have like hot butter beer. So I budgeted in for us to have at least one butter butter beer a day. Um, but again, like all of this was just tips, like a research and just planning ahead and figuring out, okay, what do we want to spend money on? And having a plan for that before we got there. Once I had all of the expenses that I could think of factored into my spreadsheet, <laughs> spreadsheet, I feel like I sound like a CPA. I'm really, I was gonna say I'm really not that organized. I guess I am. I guess I am. I'm trying to get my, trying to let my rebel come out a little bit, but the truth is I'm, I'm pretty organized. <laughs> Anyways, back to the subject. Okay, so once I had all of my expenses that I could think of on the spreadsheet, I then factored in just fun splurge spending money and added a pretty good cushion of that to, um, to our budget. Something that I am adding for future reference that I didn't think to do and thankfully I had enough splurge money that it wasn't a big issue um, was like a safety net kind of amount for things that may come up that you aren't planning on or you know random things I mean it how often is it that everything goes to plan <laughs> not very often and we had a little hiccup in miscommunication regarding the tickets um, so we were out of pocket a good little chunk that I wasn't planning on being out of pocket on so moving forward for all of the trips that we plan ahead now not only am I adding like a fun splurge amount of, of spending money but also like a what I'm gonna call a safety net amount for those you know unexpected expenses that may or may not come up. So here's the beautiful thing about having this vacation account is when you open an account, a checking account, let me make sure I'm hiding my number, you get a card, right? So from the time we leave the house for this trip, everything that I purchase, I use my vacation card on and that's it. So I know that I'm not touching any money that might be going towards bills, might be going towards groceries, might be going towards orthodontists, like <laughs> everything I spend was allotted for that trip. And I cannot tell you how much freedom that is in being on, a, on vacation, not having to worry about money, and just knowing that you have prepared and planned for this and there's no guilt, no regret, no what ifs, no like, well, if we buy this, maybe we can shift it here. No, none of that. There's just so much freedom. Freedom is the best word that I can think of. There's a saying that I have with the gym. Um, if you don't know, I own a gym and I do a lot of nutrition coaching with, with it. And we often say, if it's not measurable, it's not manageable. And it's the same thing with your finances. If I can't measure it, I can't manage it. And that's exactly what I'm doing here with my budget. Even that word, I think budget kind of freaks people out because when you hear budget, you think restriction, kind of like diet. When you hear diet, you think restriction. And we need to reframe our mindset on that. Budgeting, in my opinion, is managing. That's what you're doing. You're telling your money where to go instead of your money telling you where you need to go, right? There's so much freedom in having a budget, making a plan, sticking to that plan, and then being able to breathe and not worry about it, right? At least for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave you with three tips, okay? Number one is have a vacation account or vacation savings or even just an envelope. If you don't wanna open up a bank account just for this, have an envelope. The point is that you want to separate your funds that you're allotting for this budget and have it away from everything else. Number two, 
write it down or make a spreadsheet. I liked having, I just used Google Sheets for my planning. It worked fantastically, but you can just write all of this down. Try to think of as many things that you will spend money on for this trip from the time you leave your house to the time you walk back through your front door. And number three, once you have that budget set aside for your trip, only use that budget. Do your absolute best to not tap in to your grocery money, your bill money, your whatever, whatever other funds that you have, do your best to just stick with your budget. Because again, it gives you freedom. That money has been saved. You can proudly spend it guilt-free on your trip and enjoy and relax and be with your family if that's what you're doing and enjoy your time and just not have to worry about how you're going to arrange everything when you get home. None of that. None of that. We're leaving it away. <laughs> I will say I would strongly encourage you if you are someone who does like the idea of budgeting and, and takes a lot of vacations or trips, I really like the idea of having the checking account because you do get the debit card, which, you know, so many things now are linked to cards. Like if you go, for example, the Universal um, or Universal Studios has an app. And so I, I could link my vacation card to that and any purchases that we made would come straight out of our vacation account. So that is a really big plus of having a, a strictly an account, but you don't have to. You can absolutely, you know what? You could even, if you're using like an envelope system for cash, just before your trip, you can just deposit that large chunk of cash into the one account that maybe you have. You might have to be a little bit more on top of like keeping up with your expenses to make sure you don't go over. Um, but that's an idea too, if you don't wanna go through the hassle of opening a checking account. Oh, and side note, something else that we did was, okay, so I budgeted for things that I knew I wanted to purchase for the boys while we were there, but then I, they also had their responsibility of budgeting for themselves on things that they wanted beyond that. So for example, my youngest, knew that he wanted to buy a robe at Universal Studios. So he looked it up, they were expensive, but he saved up and he was ready to make that purchase while there. So I made sure before the trip to let them know, hey, I'm planning on getting you this, 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 and this. So beyond that, any type of souvenirs or just fun stuff that you wanna get, you're responsible for that. And so we set that expectation before we even left, so it was there. They were expecting to have to cover that expense. It worked really well for us and also helped the boys to learn how to budget for themselves as well. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love for you to give it a thumbs up or even subscribe if you haven't yet. I've got a lot of videos in the pipeline that I'm really excited about. So until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye.